The World of Polygons. Hello, my name is Mr. Topolo, and today we are going to dive into the topic of polygons. The first type of polygons that we are going to work with in this video are triangles. There's four classifications of triangles of which we are go I'm going to show you today. The Great Pyramids have triangular sides. The first type of triangle is the isosceles triangle. The isosceles triangle has two equal sides, as designated by these marks. These marks represent that the sides are equal, and then the one line at the bottom means that it is a different equal angle. The second type of triangle that I am going to demonstrate would be the right triangle. The right triangle also has two equal sides. And then the hypotenuse being the biggest side. The nice thing about right triangles is they have this mark right here this half box that designates that that is a 90 degree angle. The third type of triangle is the scalene triangle. With this triangle, no sides are equal. So, you're going to put different hash marks to represent that those sides are all different. The last triangle and the easiest to identify is the equilateral triangle because all three sides are equal. Now that's it for the triangles. Well, I am now going to show you, in this video, quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons that have four sides, and I will be showing you five of them. The first of the five types of quadrilaterals is the square. The square has four equal sides, and you can also compose it of four right angles. The second type of quadrilateral is the rectangle. The rectangle does not have four equal sides. It has two equal parallel sides, which means that the left and the right sides are equal, and the top and the bottom sides are equal. You can also indicate it with four right angles as you can the square. The third type of quadril quadrilateral is the parallelogram. The parallelogram has two pairs of parallel lines 
and they're also equal to one another, like the rectangle. So you have the left and the right being equal, and the top and the bottom being equal, again, as designated by the equal lines. But, unlike the rectangle and the square, it does not form any right angle. The second to last quadrilateral that I am going to show you today is the rhombus. Now, the rhombus has four equal sides, like the square, but it is not classified as a square, but it is classified as a smaller parallelogram, as you can see that the parallelogram is longer and the rhombus is shorter. So therefore it shares qualities of both the square and the parallelogram. The last quadrilateral that I am going to demonstrate on this video today is the trapezoid. The trapezoid will have equal marks here and here, but it also has one set of parallel lines. Now don't let this trick you, because parallel lines can be parallel to each other, but they do not need to be the same length to be parallel. So, here's one parallel line, here's the other parallel line. So even though they are different lengths, they are still parallel to one another. That is all the info that I can give you. A pentagon has five sides and the picture of the Pentagon building is a perfect example. A heptagon is made up of seven sides. Look at this creature. It's an octopus. And both an octopus and octagons have something in common. A nonagon is made up of nine sides. A decagon is composed of ten sides. And if you get confused, use this photo to help you count the sides. A is a shape with lines that connect.